Come, and let us worship the Lord. The, the Lord, Lord is my shepherd, shepherd. I, I shall not want. want. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. The Lord of hosts is with us. Let us turn back and repent of our sins. We, we are, are sorry, sorry and repent of our sins. Restore us, O Lord, as we turn to you and seek forgiveness in your name. Hear then the good news. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by Christ's authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh, Good Shepherd, you know your sheep by name. You call your sheep to the green pastures and still waters of your grace and peace. O oh, Lord, may we always hear your voice calling out to us, leading us, and guiding us back to you. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The first reading is from the book of Acts, chapter 2. And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. And awe came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were being done through the apostles. And all who believed were together and had all things in common. And they were selling their possessions and belongings and distributing the proceeds to all as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and gracious hearts, praising God and having favor with all people. And the Lord added to their numbers day by day those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness, for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The second reading is from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 19-25. through 25. St. Peter writes, for this is a gracious thing, when, mindful of God, one endures sorrows while suffering unjustly. For what credit is it if, when you sin and are beaten for it, you endure? But if when you do good and suffer for it, you endure, this is a gracious thing in the sight of God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you leaving you an example so that you might follow in his steps. 
He committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth. When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but continued entrusting himself to him who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were straying like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Gospel is from John, chapter 10, verses 1 through 10. And Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure of speech Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, o Christ. Christ. A Reflection on Still Waters from Psalm 23, verse 2, and I quote, He leadeth me beside the still waters, end quote. My dear friends, this is the seventh Sunday we've been apart, worshiping away from our church. We have done the best we can to provide a virtual worship service, and God has been glorified and praised each week. Still, we look forward to when we can worship together again, for these are strange, uncertain times. We would rather worship together. During the week, we find that too easily we are sad, filled with anxiety, searching for a better way. And then today we hear, the Lord is my shepherd. If it be the good shepherd who leadeth me, I want to follow. If our destinations are his still waters, I want to go, for my waters are turbulent. His still waters are peaceful and calm. Mine are chaotic and wild. His waters are filled with grace. Mine are just full of trouble. His waters are welcoming. My waters are filled with fear. This world is broken, but you bring us healing, O shepherd of all our needs. We live in strange times, but you, O Lord, are still our shepherd. We reluctantly follow stay-at-home orders, but you, O oh Lord, lead us to a peaceful place. We practice social distancing. But you, O oh Lord, tell us you're close by. We wear masks. But you, O oh Lord, you know who we are anyway. And who are we? We are yours, O oh Christ. We are the sheep of your pasture. But as sheep, it's too easy for us to get scattered. We can't find our way back to you on our own. We need you to lead us, O Lord. We look to the good shepherd, for he restoreth my soul. Lord, I hear your voice, and you find me. I long for the still waters, and you bring me there. In you only, O shepherd, in you alone, my soul is restored. In faith, we trust that the Lord will lead us through these strange times. The Lord knows we need rest. We need the still waters. 
we are restored by the presence of the Lord leading us to this place of peace, tranquility, and grace. And so, my friends, let us always remember, this good shepherd went to a cross and died for the forgiveness of our sins. He rose again on the third day with the promise that one day we too will rise from death into new life and share eternity in heaven with him, our good shepherd, Christ the Lord. Until that time of great joy, we pray. Lead and guide us, O shepherd, and we will follow you. Lead us in God's peace. Lead us beside the still waters of God's grace and mercy, where all is calm, all is forgiven, all has been made right by the good shepherd, who knows us by name and calls out to us. O good shepherd, lead us beside the still waters. Restore our souls. For deep in our hearts, we know that is the best place to be and the way we want to go, O Lord. For the Lord is my shepherd. Amen. With the whole church, let us confess our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Worshiping the risen Christ, the shepherd of the flock, we pray for the church, the world, and all people in need. O Lord, we pray for all who walk in the valley of the shadow of death. We praise your holy name that you never leave us, that you have promised to be with us always. Strengthen and lead all your faithful people to the green pastures and still waters of your grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of life, we pray for those who are indifferent to your grace, for those who resist you or who have turned away from you. Restore them, O Lord. Lead them in your right pathways. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of all, bring all your people back to your sanctuary to worship and praise you. Let the churches reopen so that all may rejoice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, be not silent to the cries of the afflicted, the sick, and the bereaved. We lift up in prayer all veterans and those who are serving in the military, especially Derek, Richard, Charlie, Peyton, Anna, John, David, Nate, Jacob, Michael, Anthony, and Tina. We pray for those who are homebound, Anastasia, Norma, Shelley, and Janet. And we pray for those who are sick and in need of healing, Joyce, Nancy, David, Bill, Catherine, Linda, Ed, Tork, Marion, Barbara, Linda, Tom, Joan, Catherine, Charles, Donna, Rich, Bob, Ivy, Gitta, Mary Lou, Connor, Charlotte, Jean, Misty, the family of Wayne Fisher, and we pray especially for the Interfaith Community Food Pantry, all health care workers, all essential employees, cashiers, truck drivers, cooks, bankers, police and firefighters, and first responders, and anyone who has to go out during these times. And for those we name in our hearts and on our lips. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Uphold your entire church this Easter season by your grace. Cut short this time of suffering upon from the coronavirus. 
strengthen and sustain us all in these troubling times. Bless all lay people, pastors, deacons, chaplains, and bishops. Bless our sister congregation in Christ, St. John Lutheran Church in Summer Hill. Grant that together we may all be faithful and follow in the way of Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our Amen. prayer. Into your hands we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your love and mercy through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ be with you always. And, and also, also with, with you. you. Let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Peace, Christ is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.